Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Optimist, and today I'm talking about Vol5. Uh, I played this one. Light kicks and the electric yo-yo, and the bully art class minigame I won't shut up about. You move a cursor over a rectangle, creating a picture with the lines you trace, avoiding enemies, and blah blah blah. Taito made too many of these games, I think. Still, without them, I don't think we'd get that sweet, sweet minigame. So... Didn't I figure out that... So, Kicks was definitely that, but I think the Electric Yo-Yo was not. If I if I remember. For whatever reason, I thought the Electric Yo-Yo was, but it's, it's not. The Electric Yo-Yo. Yeah, it's, it's not. The Electric Yo-Yo is not like that. Kicks is, and Super Kicks. Um, let me see Vol5 to see if I'm mistaken once again. Um, shout out to World of Long Plays again. I'm pretty sure I've seen these guys before. Vol5. Yeah, and this one's got a space setting. There's like little... You can shoot? That's pretty fucking sweet, actually. This is a better kicks. This is... This is dope as fuck. Time stop, get him. You can shoot. That's pretty fucking sick. Let's see what Wikipedia says. It is a successor to Kicks with extra features and a futuristic science fiction aesthetic rather than Kicks' abstract geometry style. The player pilots a small spaceship named Monotros instead of a Styx, and the enemies come in the form of various aliens. Taking pla oh, There's a story. Taking place in another galaxy, a space pilot is returning to his home world of Vulfide, only to discover that it is under attack by an unknown alien force. The few remaining Volfide inhabitants are in an, in an underground location of the planet and signal the pilot to their aid. The pilot flies to Volfide using his ship's defensive weapons in order to eliminate the alien threat and save his people. Looks fucking dope. That's really cool. You know what? Good shit. Fukio Mitsuji. Designer. What else did you do? I don't know why I'm looking at this. Let's just go back. That's pretty sick. Uh, we have one, two, three, four more games left in the Taito Legend series. This has been a long journey, but uh, it's been nice talking about these, these classics, these legendary games.